Okay, you can start now. Namaskar to all. I am Janai Buhariwala, a student of class 12th from Center Point School, Kartol Road, Nagpur. Today, I'll be the moderator for this afternoon event, the Great Master Series, organized by Spick McKay, and I welcome our distinguished artist for the today, Sri Latikant Mahapatra Ji, founder of Spick McKay, Dr. Kiran Seth, and all our viewers who have joined us today. I now request Arya to speak a few words about Speak Meke. I am Arya Dow from class 12 of Centerpoint School, Kartol Road, Nagpur. Speak Meke, the Society for Promotion of Indian Classical Music and Culture amongst youth, is a non political, non profit movement that has mobilized the students in various educational institutions of the nation to experience the mysticism embodied in Indian cultural heritage through various art forms, theater, cinema classics, yoga, craft, etc. The movement founded in 1977 by Padmashri, Dr. Kiran Seth, functions through more than 500 chapters all over the nation and the world. Spick McKay, intends to enrich the quality of formal education by increasing awareness about different aspects of Indian heritage and inspiring the young minds to imbibe the values embedded in it. Every year, Spick McKay arranges more than 5,000 programs in more than 1,500 institutions with the help of thousands of volunteers, young and old, who selflessly devote themselves believing in Nishkam Seva, that is, spirit of volunteerism. I now request Ananya Sinha to speak about the series. I am Ananya Sinha, a student of class 9 at Sindapoint School, Katol Road, Nagpur. I welcome you to yet another edition of the Great Master Series and endeavor to know our legendary artists who have enriched our music, art, and culture through their immense dedication and contribution. Not only does the series provide us with an opportunity to experience our great cultural heritage, discover our art and tradition, and connect with our inner self, but also lets us have a glimpse of the lives and works of the doyens of Indian classical art forms as each and every one of us must know about our glorious culture and artistic heritage, of which we are heirs. Let us hear about the legendary artist from Kinjal. I am Kinjal Banerjee, a student of class 11th from Centerpoint School, Kato Road, Nagpur. I am privileged to introduce to the young audience the doyen of ODC dance, the Padma Vibhushan Guru Keluchan Mahapatra, born on January 8, 1926, at Raghurajpur in Orissa. Guruji, who was a precocious child, learned to paint and sculpt and play the cold drum at a very early age. Soon he joined the Gotipua group of dancers, in which the boys dress up as women to praise Lord Jagannath and performed for several years. His passion for dance made him do extensive research on the Gotipua and Mardala dance, resulting in to restructuring it, reviving it from the verge of extinction and popularizing Odissi dance as the classical dance form of the 20th century. Not only did he become an exponent of this dance form, but he also excelled himself in Pattachitra painting and gained mastery in percussion instruments, the Mardala and the Tabla. Guruji, along with his wife, Lakshmi Priya, herself an accomplished dancer, and their son, renowned dancer and choreographer, Ratikant, founded Sajan in 1994, an institution to students for impart training in Odissi dance. Now, Gunjan will tell us about Guruji's achievements. Good afternoon to all. I am Gunjan Natekar, a student of class 12th at Centerpoint School, Kartol Road, Nagpur. 
let me tell you all about the awards and honors received by guruji he was the recipient of many prestigious awards which included the sangeet natak academy award the kalidas samman and all three padma awards that is the padma shri the padma bhushan and padma vibhushan many of his disciples have become acclaimed dancers themselves which include shrimati sanjukta pani grahi dr sonal man singh and bharatnatyam dancer yamini krishnamurthy in his honor the guru kelucharan mohapatra award was instituted in 1995 for significant contribution in the field of dance music theater and cinema i now call upon gurleen to introduce to the viewers shri ratikant mahapatra ji the artist for the day i am gurleen batra a student of class 9 at center point school kartol road nagpur with immense pride and pleasure i take this opportunity to introduce to you all renowned dancer guru choreographer and activist of odissi dance and son and disciple of legendary guru kelucharan mahapatra shri ratikanta mahapatra ji born to illustrious parents and trained by the maestro ratikanta ji honed his skills as an accomplished dancer excelling in abhinaya as well as mardala play under his choreography 555 odissi dancers performed in unison at the kalinga stadium bhubaneswar thus gaining an entry into the guinness book of world records decorated with nritya shri nritya bhushan nritya shiromani nritya bharti sammans a number of other awards and the most prestigious sangeet natak academy award in 2016 Pratikant ji has more than a dozen distinguished dance choreographies to his credit. I now humbly request Pratikant ji to interact with our students and answer their queries. Good afternoon sir. I am Soham Nagarwar, a student of class 9 at Center Point School, Kartal Road, Nagpur. My first question to you is growing up with a legendary figure how has it influenced you sir request you to unmute please thank you yeah my journey with my guruji uh initially it was a big task for me Uh, especially when my father expired in 2004 the expectation from the artist fraternity and the audience was quite big so for 2 years i was completely shattered and silent i didn't know what to do and which direction to go though i had experiences with me spending time with my father 40 years since my childhood you know i spent a quality time with him uh, not only with him but there are other people those who are the who's who for odissi dance and music like simati sanjukta panigrahi ji uh, pandit bhubaneshwar swami shri pandit raghunath panigrahi simati kumkum mahanti and uh, sri rakhal chandra mahanti so these are the people who made odissi music and dance for which odissi has acclaimed a global recognition today it was it, it was quite experiencing educating myself and it was a great journey with my father and uh, i humbly try to carry on his legacy henceforth thank you sir good afternoon sir I'm Gurnoor Kaur Hoda, a student of class 10 from Sangpen School, Nagpur. So, could you please share any memorable incident or anecdote of your interactions with the Guru? Yeah, I have a very uh, wonderful memory with my father. You know, when I was in fourth standard, I used to go to school with 10 paisa from my mother as a pocket money 
those days. So one day, my mother was in the bathroom and Baba was busy in some work. So I asked my mother to give 10 paisa. She said, uh, Beta, I don't have the... Uh, I'm in the bathroom, you ask Baba. I also asked Baba. Baba said, I'm busy, so you go today without uh, your pocket money. Tomorrow, I'll give you 20 paisa. So when I came back to the room, I was changing to my uniform. I thought, let me check Baba's pocket and find out if there is any... Uh, uh, any money there. The lowest I could find 5 rupees. <clears throat> so what I thought, let me take this 5 rupees, 10 paisa I will take and 4 rupees 90 paisa I will return. But when I go to the school, in the excitement, all the friends said, oh my god, 5 rupees you got today, let's party. So, you know, somehow I, I spent all those 5 rupees eating ice cream, then puchka, the chart, you know, as we do normally in the schools. The lady who in the house, lots of Baba students from outside, they come to stay and learn from him. So next day morning when they were having breakfast, Baba called me and tied me in a flower tree, jasmine flower tree. I was very surprised. I said, why are you doing this? He said, okay, I'll explain you. You know, in front of 20, 25 students of Baba coming from outside, I was quite embarrassed. So, after five minutes, he said, you have taken money from my pocket. That is not an offense. You can take money, but without telling and you're taking money from my pocket is equal to stealing the money. That's why I have tied you here. Then he released me after that. But the way he explained me, I was very small. I, my mind was not mature, but the way he explained me, it was very friendly, very nice. I, I didn't feel, I, I was not hard. It was not any offense. It was very nicely he spoke to me. And kind of he injected this uh, discipline into my mind. And there are other things also there. Uh, because I also play percussion. One day he called me. He said, uh, let's play. So we started playing. So when he... Uh, actually, everybody said, you know, this is Guruji's son. It is in his gene and blood. So normally he will excel. So somewhat, you know, knowingly, unknowingly, that uh, went into my head. My mother came to know. And uh, again, uh, she told my father... So Baba called me to play. I was trying to play with him, but I could not play all the speeds he played. First, second, first speed, second, speed, third speed. Then he said, oh, you are my son. You can't play. I said, I'm not in the mood, Baba, today. Let's play some other day. The next day he was traveling abroad. He told me, you know, whatever we played yesterday, the same bowls, you know, the Pakhavaj bowls, you play each and every day for a month till I come back, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening. And this is a homework for you. Then he went. Because Baba told uh, it was it was a big responsibility, but uh, very sincerely, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening, I played. Without, uh, if, I mean, sometimes I was not wishing to play or willing to play, but my mother will force me to play. But I played. After a month when he came back, one day we sat together and played. So that day I could play all three speeds. Then he was very happy. He said, wow, you can play. I said that day, you know, I was not in a mood. Today I'm in a very great mood. So I could play. You know, then he explained me, not because you are my son, you are in a mood or not in a mood. Because those 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening you played, you have done the practice. That practice made you play today what you did. Again, in a very friendly manner, in a very nice uh, way, he explained it. He had a great quality of explaining things to his disciples and to his family members. Then I could understand, yes, it's the truth. Because I practice, I could play. You know, those two, these two things, you know, that stealing money and playing, these two things... Today also I follow in that principle. He always used to say, you know, 
don't swim at the surface. You know, to achieve in life, one has to swim deep down the sea, touch the sea belt, find the pearl and come out on the water. He is the real successor. So there are many things Guruji told me, not only to me, but, but also to his many disciples. Uh, actually, he passed 20, uh, 2004, 2020, 16 years. So the 10th year of his passing, we were celebrating. So we thought we'll call all his disciples from worldwide to celebrate the 10th year of his passing. So we found out 5,204 direct disciples of him, they're all over, spread all over the world, the dances. And this much uh, number we could find out, but there are more students. He ha he was a great human being. He could, uh, he could distinguish uh, as a father, as a teacher, as a guru. He knew his responsibilities towards his son as a father and as a guru towards his disciples. So he was a great man and he's a father architect of this dance form. He created this dance form. And uh, today, hearing about 150 smaller big countries practicing Odyssey and Odyssey has become the uh, become one of the top most uh, classical dance forms of our country today. So these are two uh, very uh, memorable uh, thing with me of my father. Thank you, sir. So my next question to you is, can you please tell us how Gotipua dance form helped Guruji to restructure ODC dance? Actually, today, the Odyssey, what we see today, I don't know whether you have seen Odyssey dance or not. Uh, Odyssey dance, actually, the, the previous uh, Odyssey was named in 1957, the name to this dance form. Before that, it used to be called as Odia Nacho, or Odia dance. Gotipua, actually Gotipua is considered to be the one of the roots of for Odyssey dance. Gotipua means, Goti means one, Pua means boy. So if one boy dressed like a girl and dance, they sing and they dance. So lots of Gotipua's movements, they, very, they sing traditional songs and with them, the percussion which is played with Odyssey dance is called Mardala. It is not Pakhauj. So Mardala and Manjira used to be played with uh, Goti Puas and they used to sing and dance. So lots of their dance vocabularies have been incorporated with the modern Odyssey what we see today. And because Guruji himself was a Goti Pua dancer, First, uh, he was working in a betel grove in Raghurajpur village as a laborer. From there, he joined Rasalila party of Mohan Sundar Dev Goswami, who is a real guru of Guruji. Then, he learned from Guru Dayal Sharan all the modern techniques of choreographing using space, lights. And in between, he also learned Gotipur dance. And after that, he came and joined Kalavikash Kendra in 1955 and started teaching. So because of because all these experiences, Guru, all these experiences helped Guruji to reconstruct this dance form. Thank you, sir. So my next question to you is: Do you think founding of Srajan was a mammoth task for Guruji? Did he receive any help from anyone in particular? Actually, Sujan, Sujan founded in 1993. Before that, we had a workshop in Mumbai, National Center for the Performing Arts. All his disciples, myself, one day when, you know, when there was a break in the workshop, we thought 
ki let's make a repertory group for guruji man it's like guru kalushat mahapatra's performing group then we thought let's name the group so one of guruji's disciples smriti daksha mashruwala in mumbai she said okay let's name the group as sujan sujan sarjana sujan it means creation because guruji is the creator of odissi dance so we named the institution sujan then one more of his disciples devi vasu so the husband tapan vasu he uh, he designed the logo uh you know it is the emblem of it's like this shiva shakti and without shakti there is no creation so that's why uh, this logo for sujan became shakti and name was sujan and we write s r j a n and there is a dot underneath the r which spells as sh sujan and after that sujan came into being from 93 Sudan is focused to develop and spread Odissi dance and the uh, rigor teaching method of Guru Kelucan Mahapatra School of Odissi, and we do lots of archival work. We have a huge archive in our studio, which speaks about the evolution of Odissi dance since its inception. We have lots of interviews recorded. Uh, dance choreographers and all those people who are involved in the past, the contemporary of Guruji, who worked with him in Anandpurna Theatre and during his days in the Gurajpur village in Gotipur uh, school. So we have their interviews, demonstrations with us. It is a huge archive in Sujan, and uh, every year we conduct the award festival in the name of Guruji since 1995. Guru Kalucha Mahapatra Award because initially Guruji was uh, uh, in, uh, Guruji was in uh, cinema, uh, theater, dance, and music. So these four fields, we there is a special jury who decides the award from these four fields every year. We September uh, five to nine every year. Five days we do the festival. We st- first we started with one day, then it it went three days. Then after that, now it is five days. Every year we do five uh, days, and all every year we give two awards. Since couple of years we have uh, sorry, since two thousand six, we have started Guru Kelucan Mahapatra Yuva Pratibha Samman. So this is for for an outstanding performer between the age. From eighteen to twenty-five, or we also take from twenty-five to thirty-five. So this is the range of the uh, choosing the artists and the senior award, Guru Kaushal Mahapatra Award. I mean, who has outstanding contribution to the concerned field and financially not well off, and they have not got recognition well. So jury decides the award, and we give the award to them. So the Kelujan Mahapatra Award carries one lakh, and Yuva Pratibha Samman uh, carries twenty-five thousand. So four awards of uh, Guru Kelujan Mahapatra Yuva Pratibha Samman every year, and two awards of Guru Kelujan Mahapatra Award every year we do. And right now we are doing a series every because of the pandemic. I mean, slowly the solo dancing is going to oblivion. You know, now everybody likes group choreography, group dancing, because solo dancing is the soul of Indian classical dance. So to revive the solo dancing, we have started a series called Anu Vartanam, in tune with the times. That is happening every weekend, every Saturday, Sunday. Today also we have a show. Tomorrow also. Tomorrow we are completing 50th episode of Anuvartana. Uh, so we we have a. This is a trust. We teach Guruji's uh, technique, and uh, we have a huge archive. We do lots of uh, uh, 
archival work and demonstration uh, recordings um, and uh, anuvartanam we are doing and in between also we do small programs to promote upcoming young dancers so basically we are focused more in teaching and creating solo dancers with guruji's rigor technique thank you sir i would also uh, like to mention here because normally you know uh, people say classical dance is very slow it's very boring you know they would prefer to go to a bollywood uh, cinema to see not to the any classical dance forms so what i thought of you know since last 10 years in my research what i found out is because suppose assuming 100 uh, audience 100 audience they they are in auditorium so 20 audience they are intellectual they understand the music and dance and their new answers but 80 80 people who does not have a dance or music background they just come to the auditorium to spend time to enjoy they see they like they glue to their seats if they don't like they just get up and walk out of the auditorium so what i thought being an artist i thought let me let us reach those 80 instead of this 20 because anyway this 20 would understand the uh, dance or music but what about those 80 so then i started researching first i started reading human psychology then because we have a gadget now with us laptop computer software so to handle the speed through the software and then analyzing the human body so you need to know the human anatomy now when we record the music the first tempo which we record it is called 120 bpm suppose i tell 1 2 3 4 suppose this is the tempo i first record so this consider as the 120 bpm hello so, yes so 1 2 3 4 if i go if i increase then from 120 130 140 the speed increases now to handle with the human body that speed human body can practice between 120 to 180 maximum but the, for that those dancers body have to be practiced all 365 days otherwise to attain that speed is not possible so we have a performing group which practices every single day for 3 hours all 365 days whether we have programs or not no programs now why human uh, psychology because that two things i found out human mind two things they catch immediately one is speed and one is theme so anything you do fast movement music or dance whatever you know our mind catches them very fast now theme like suppose uh, mahabharat we see mahabharat each and every day in the television or cinema but whenever we see that n number of time we have seen you know for me also you know when i today when uh, the radha krishna is coming in television you know i watch i know the story but still i watch why theme because suppose you know krishna and arjuna bhagavad gita or you know rama and jatai one ram ravan so when dancers they perform on stage those 80 people who doesn't understand the <clears throat> vocabularies of dance or nuances of dance they reach the dancer they reach the dance through those mythological characters or those known characters so it is easier for us to connect with them you know suppose you know it, it happens you know i went i am not a dancer but i went and saw a dance i like ravana i i came back and i explained my mother or father oh my god you know that girl was fantastic or that boy was fantastic doing ravana i don't know about dance but i explain you know that way 
I thought it is a good medium to connect to the audience. It is not only to connect to the audience, but also to educate them with the ABCD of the dance form and the music. So since last 10 years, I will not say that I'm completely successful, but somewhat now those uh, people seeing Sujan's performance, because we do lots of uh, mythological or abstract or contemporary based, uh, but staying within the ODC frame. We have a frame like, you know, in Bollywood or in contemporary dance, they do not have a line of control. They can do any movement. They can do anything. But when it is coming to classical dance, we have already a frame set. We cannot go beyond that. that. Then we, we will lose that aesthetics of that classical uh, form or classicism. But staying within the frame, doing innovation work, which will attract people at once, was very challenging for me. And I'm still working on it. And uh, uh, understanding the audience mind without going the aesthetic of the form, when you innovate, it's a great challenge. We have lots of productions in YouTube. If you have time, you can see. One is Viswas, one is Synthesis, one is Tarana, one is Tirvani Madhurima. Ah, it is for the common mass, for the common people. Anybody can understand, anybody can enjoy. So I'll tell about Biswas. Biswas, I have taken Sufi music, then mix of Hindustani and Odissi music. I have taken Guru Bani and I have taken lyrics from Kabir's Doha. It's a dialogue between the devotee and the gods. Devotee is searching for the God and God is replying, you do not have to search for me everywhere. You do not have to go to the temple. You do not have to go to the church. You do not have to read the Quran. Quran, you know, I am there with you. If you have faith in me, I am right there with you. Moko kaha dhundre bande meto tere paasum. It's a very famous uh, uh, writing of Kabir. So what I have done, I have taken Sufi music for the God and the mixed music of Hindustani and Odyssey taken for the devotees. And I have taken the lots of contemporary movement and the Sufi movement and staying within the idiom of Odyssey vocabulary. So it's there in YouTube. If you have time, you can see. So it's a great... Uh, Experience, great, challenging, and it's because my interest is there. So my only wish, you know, when you host a program like this in your school and the sole cause of speak matter is to let the youngsters know about a classical art form. And I'm sure this is also a very good uh, system or uh, medium, which we have find, found out from Sujan to connect to the audience, to you all. So it was a great uh, challenge and still a challenge for me. We all are working, still working and we'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Shubham, do you have the next question? Yes. Shubham? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Okay, so uh, actually I teach in uh, Swiss University. I have a class at four o'clock. So I have to leave before that. So I have to leave five to four. So uh, we three, just four. have uh, two or more questions and the children will finish off quickly. Yeah, Shubham, sure. quickly. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I am Shubham Mukherjee, a student of class 10 at Center Point School, Cartoon Nagpur. So, my question to you is if you can tell us more about Srajan. I told already. I told everything about Srajan. Yes. So, uh, you can give your next question, Shubham. Say the next question. Uh, 
that would be better so what do you feel about your contribution to odissi dance since you have been such an uh, acclaimed choreographer yourself and a recipient of so many awards see as i said you know i'm working on this project uh, you know reaching the uh, the general uh, mass you know my guru ji my father has created this dance form he has done everything you know what i'm trying you know i never try to copy and paste his work i always try to do something and you know suppose i do a item today and when i could have a next item i always try that the other the, the new one should not be looking like uh, the previous one i always try to do something new and you know in that process some new movements have been created i think those are the movements it's it will be a um, these are my humble contribution to the art form and i'm very happy that you know those movements are slowly being practiced with other dancers you know they are uh, imbibing those uh, uh, movements and they are applying uh, their uh, compositions with that uh, uh, creation so i feel very happy and uh, you know it's a uh, it's a every day you learn you know when i teach my students when i perform or when i interact uh, with anybody you know each day is a learning process there is no end of learning so as i grow old whatever contribution i will be able to make but i will i'm trying my best to contribute definitely a little bit to the work of my father which he has left behind uh last question i think is left yeah so my last question to you can you please demonstrate one of your father's and yours favorite dance piece you i think you will be seeing after this uh, baba's work uh yes sir i would uh, see i don't have the music with me here but uh, you know i would uh, request all of you if you, if you go to youtube you know that is you know my favorite piece now i very often perform shabari from ramayan yes uh, it's there in the youtube because without music it will not be uh, proper to demonstrate you can uh, see that in youtube uh that's a favorite piece of mine and uh, jatai moksha you know the conversation between jatai and rama and uh, shabari you know i like to do those kind of performances you know which are bhakti oriented you know i could connect myself <laughs> to the story much in a better way because staying with baba working uh, working with baba that was what i received from him i think you are going to watch a video Wonderful. after this right yes yeah please see you will be watching i think three uh, items of uh, my guru ji which are from uh, jaydevas geeto govinda he was a old man no hair no proper teeth and he will be playing radha's role oh, yes, if I've you seen. so if you can see him minutely you might not be able to understand the song but if you minutely see him what he is trying to express you know the attitude of his body language you know if you see a woman how a woman a traditional woman how he speaks how he uh, how she walks the attitude if you have seen any uh, lady from a village typical traditional village woman you know all those you could see in guruji's performance what you are going to see i mean three of his best pieces he'll be performing i'm sure you will enjoy and if you have time please visit youtube and see 
Okay, so thank you. Jenai? Uh, thank you, sir. That brings us to the end of this interaction. I now request the principal of Center Point School, Cartol Road, Shilpi Ganguly, ma'am, to propose a vote of thanks. Uh, good afternoon, everyone who has joined here in the meeting. Good afternoon, Rotikanta Mahapatraji. Uh, I mean, what a wonderful, it's a golden opportunity to listen to you. I think children, it has been a spellbinding 45 minutes and what a lovely way uh, that uh, sir has shared with us his, us his experiences with his father. Who better than him to tell us about uh, Guruji? And uh, these are the pearls of wisdom that you're going to grow up with dear children. And uh, golden opportunity. I must thank Spikmake also for giving us this opportunity. We have always associated with them. I must tell Mahapatraji that Centerpoint School has always been associated with all Spikmake endeavors. And uh, today, of course, was an exceptional experience that uh, Spikmake has been able to envisage this uh, in times of Corona and still sitting in the comfort of our home, we have been able to interact with a legend. Uh, Ma'am, I'm not a legend. I'm just a disciple of Guru Kalushan Mahapatra. Uh, Thank you so and much for your kind uh, words. From you, uh, you know, through your eyes, we could see Guruji. And um, thanks to both of you. And I, I know, you know, artists are very humble. So you are not calling yourself a legend. But you have to see you yourself through my, our eyes. And uh, you know, ma'am, uh, uh, when we talk about Guruji, Guru Kalchan Mahapatra, actually, he is the real legend. I am just a medium. I'm just a medium true. taking his work forward. Yes, sir. and that is also very good because when you said your vision of taking it to 80, I love that idea because yes, otherwise slowly and gradually we are going to lose our youngsters. And uh, there's no point saying that they are not interested. So what you shared with us, that the speed at which you know, you did your psychology bit and uh, the speed at which we must work so that young mind, heart and soul can be captured. But we have to capture them. We cannot let them go. And I really appreciate that work that you are doing, sir. Uh, thank you. I think so before much. I leave, I would request all of you, all the students, my sincere request to all of you, doesn't matter how much modern we are in this 21st century or 2020, uh, it is always will be humble and uh, proper to connect ourselves to the roots. True. Very, and, very important message. Yes. yes and if you can connect to your parents and their root, it will be wonderful. Otherwise, what will happen? Because we are, that is not our cup of tea, you know, where, where we are aiming to, the modernity okay. or modern times or whatever, contemporary. But which, I mean, the cup of tea which we have belonged to, we are ignoring. So we are in between. You know, in that process, we lose our self-identity. Absolutely. So my sincere request to all of you, doesn't matter you wear jean pants, you go to movie, you go to you party with your friend, do whatever you want. But please be connected to your roots then only this country, the culture of our country can move forward. True. True, sir. Take this message to my children and using this opportunity. Actually, there is no conflict. All can be imbibed together. The sky Absolutely. is the limit. Why, why do you, if you are learning a Western dance form, you still have the time and the spirit and the intensity to learn the Indian dance form. If you are wearing jeans, we are still celebrating Dipavali wearing traditional wear. Today I can see all of you in traditional wear and I feel so proud of that. So everything can coexist together. The conflict between English, Hindi and our mother tongue, there is no conflict. We can learn all the languages. Yeah, one more thing, if you prove yourself correct or worthy in front of your inner being, 
what you do is correct if your inner being approves you that approves that then you are on the right track if your inner being does not approve all those then you are out of track so in that process doesn't matter whatever you do right right uh, i would close my vote of thanks by thanking specifically <coughs> dr kiran seth patrons kiran and shekhar bajaj the artists and all national supporters and of course spick mckay for uh, you know bringing all these opportunities to our schools and to our homes uh, very happy and proud that center point has always associated with uh, spick mckay and uh, thank you everybody who has joined in this program. yeah thank you so much i really thank, thank, you, thank center point school yourself ma'am and all the lovely students and specially to shri ashok jain who have given me this opportunity to speak to you and of course to speak my case thank you so much thank you ashok jain ji thank you sir thank you thank you ma'am it's time to watch some rare videos of the performance by the maestro so i now request everyone to stay tuned while the tech team takes over to play the videos thank you so please uh, i uh, please excuse me i have to leave
Vinko, ma'am, are you there? Ha, Abhishek, I'm here. Yes, ma'am. Um, I think we can close because uh, uh, just thanks to all. Uh, would Kiranji like to say anything, or anybody would like to say anything? I think then we can wind up. Kiranji, or even Ashok ji, if he's here. because uh, my principal ma'am has left no She problem so we can i i on behalf I think, of ha huh, on behalf yeah. of uh, they are we can you can thank and we can all leave then yeah so i i on behalf of speak me ke i thank all the participants here to join us on this oh, uh, program today